First properties of light, which is the most important properties of light. Light travels in a straight line. Light travels in a straight line. That's why when it's blocked by, when you are standing in the path of the light, a shadow will be formed. Okay, so it's all based on the properties that light travels in a straight line. Okay. Uh, this means that light does not bend around corner. Okay, just like this dinosaur here. There's a wall. So this little boy here will not be able to see the dinosaur. Or is she a girl? Okay. For, the re for this reason, we cannot see around corners and objects can be hidden from us. Okay. So light can be blocked. So that's the second properties. Light can be blocked. First properties, light travels in a straight line. Second properties, light can be blocked. Because light travels in a straight line, it can be blocked. So shadows are formed when light is blocked. ta -da! If there is a lamppost, this little boy here will be able to see the shadow of this dinosaur. And he is wondering, hmm, what is that? All right. Yes, it will reflect light. Yes, it will be reflected. Because it is reflected, that's why we can see. But in this case, the lamppost is the light source itself. So there's, you can't see a shadow of the lamppost. Light can be reflected. Okay, like what you said, light can be reflected. Now I saw, you were saying that when you're walking on the road, you see shadows. It means that sun is reflecting to the light, to the moon. No, it's not. sun is not reflecting to the moon. Sun is shining. Sunlight, the light from the sun falls on the moon. The moon reflects light. Yes. So this moonlight, this moonlight, that it falls on the earth, we can see object because light reflects off them into our eyes. Remember, light has to fall on the object first and the object will reflect the light into our eyes. That's how we can see an object, not the other way around. Okay? So some object reflects light very well because they have smooth and polished surface. Okay, so if this little boy in a small blue dinosaur costumes, if there's a mirror here, the image of this big dinosaur will be in the, onto this mirror and the mirror will reflect the light into this little boy's eyes. This little dinosaur will be able to see the big dinosaur. So can you see the path of light? Light has to fall on this big dinosaur. So light will have to first fall on this dinosaur. Oops. Okay. And then the reflections of this dinosaur will go into the mirror. And then the mirror will reflect the light into this boy's eyes. Can you see the path? That's how light travels. Okay. Rough and dull surface reflect light poorly. So that's why you cannot see the, your reflection. Okay, so light can be reflected. We can see object because light reflect off them into our eyes. Some object reflects light very well because they have smooth and polished surface. But this tree bark here has very rough and dull surface. So it reflects light very poorly. They absorb more light than shiny objects. Light that falls on the rough surface is also scattered in many different directions. Okay, let me use another diagram to show, explain what I mean, okay? Look at this. Light can be reflected. So light falls from the lamp, falls on this calculator, and this calculator reflects the light into the girl's eyes. So a smooth and shiny objects like this phone screen or a calculator screen reflect more light into our eyes. But if he sees another piece of rough materials, light will still force on the object. And the object will still reflect light into the girl's eyes. So the girls can still see the object. But because it's not smooth, the, you can see that the directions of the reflected light is in all directions. So you cannot actually see your own reflection inside. So a dull and rough surface reflect less light into our eyes. Yes, normally eyes, arrows, we always point towards the eyes, okay? 
So more on light can be reflected. How do mirror work? Next lesson, we will talk about the reflection more clearly. For this lesson, I just want to talk about how light falls on the object and how it is reflected into our eyes. All right. More on mirrors in the next lessons. Okay, let's look at this. Huh? Use a pencil and a ruler to draw straight lines. To, to show the path of light, okay? For this one, it's not your practice, so I shall show you how they do it. So the light rays must first begin from the light source. This way, all right? Don't forget, every light rays have, must have a direction arrow. You don't have to draw a lot. You just need to draw one in the middle and then one pointing towards the eyes. You do, it's better to draw in the middle than right at the end because sometimes when you write, draw right at the end, it actually goes into the picture and sometimes the arrow disappears or cannot be seen clearly. Okay, so the end of the, the light ray must connect either to an object or another light ray. Do note that these two lines must be joined. Can you see? These two lines must be joined. If not, your teacher will penalize you, will say that, hey, this is wrong, okay? 